You started working out consistently and are now hitting the gym three times per week. Awesome. But then you come across a friend who has been training five times per week and has been making more gains. This makes you wonder, should you be training more often in a week or will this only leave you feeling more tired without more gains? In this video, we will look into the science behind how often you should train in a week. By looking at the key exercise science principles and considering different scenarios, you will have a better understanding of how many days you should be training. First, to answer the question of how many days per week you should be training, we need to look into your goals. Someone that is looking to maintain their muscle will have different training demands than someone wanting to maximize muscle growth. For instance, we know from the research that with just one to two full body sessions in a week, trained individuals are able to maintain muscle up to 36 weeks. So if you are looking to maintain muscle size, then you don't need a whole ton of training. But maintaining muscle and actually gaining new muscle size are two different ball games. Building new muscle mass takes significantly more effort because muscle growth requires you to challenge your muscles beyond their present capacity. While it is still possible to build some muscle mass with a minimalistic training approach of training two times per week as indicated by research, most people will find it necessary to hit the weights three or more times per week to take big steps forward in their muscle and strength development process. I assume most people watching this video will have the objective to build new muscle and lose some body fat, so I'll continue the rest of this video explaining how many training days you should have in a week to maximize your progression. And essentially, there are five key variables we need to take into consideration when we want to determine the number of training days you do. First, we have training volume. How many sets per muscle group per week you need in order to realize new muscle growth will be a key determining factor in how many days per week you need to train. Secondly, we have the way you organize your training in a week, basically what training split you use. The way you divide your number of training days and the type of training split you decide to use will also impact your number of training days. We can try to fit all of your training volume into two or three training sessions, but maybe your workouts then become too long and we need more training days in order to properly divide all of your training volume. How long you can reasonably train without negatively impacting your performance will also play a role in how many days per week you want to train. And lastly, we have availability. Regardless of what the science shows is optimal for muscle growth, if you cannot adhere to a certain training program, you will not get the benefits. So when determining your number of training days, we also need to look into what is realistic for your lifestyle and schedule. Let's walk through these variables one by one. Starting with training volume. Training volume can be practically defined as the number of challenging sets per muscle group per week. So if we have 12 sets of chest training in a week, your chest has a training volume of 12 sets. Training volume is an important variable to consider because it has a direct relationship with muscle growth. Up to a certain point, the more challenging sets we have for a muscle, the more that muscle grows. But I must emphasize that this holds true only up to a certain point. If you do too many sets, then you risk something known as junk volume, in which you do many sets for a muscle group, but the quality of each set is low due to high fatigue levels. This reduces the effectiveness of each set and negatively impacts your muscle growth. How much volume you need to maximize muscle growth will depend on the individual. In previous videos, I have shared a model that can get you in the right ballpark for determining your volume requirements. We know from research that training each muscle with between 10 to 20 sets in a week is a good aim. In the figure on the screen, you can find the model that helps you determine your volume needs based on experience level. In this model, you can see that our volume needs increase as we advance. For someone that is a beginner trainee and trains each major muscle group with 10 to 12 sets per week, it's very reasonable to fit these 10 to 12 sets into something like a 3 day full body routine. But as you get advanced in training and need to train each muscle with say 16 to 20 sets per week, it becomes tricky to fit all this volume into just 3 days. You can benefit from perhaps doing up to 5 workouts. This is why for most people, I suggest a training frequency between 3 and 5 training sessions per week. A beginner trainee can do really well on just three weekly sessions, but as you get more advanced, this may have to scale up to four as an intermediate trainee and eventually five weekly workouts for advanced lifters. Now, what also matters in this discussion on how many days per week to train is your training frequency per muscle group. Now that we know we want to train each muscle with 10 to 20 sets, we also need to properly divide this training volume over the week. Let's say you have 20 sets of back training in your routine. Doing all of these 20 sets in one training day will harm your performance. By the time you're at the third or fourth exercise of the workout, performance will drop. This is why instead of using a body part split in which you train each muscle group just once per week, I prefer to use training structures that group muscles together. Like having upper body, lower body and full body days. Research supports as well that training every muscle group two to three times per week helps enhance muscle development. 
So if you train three times per week, doing something like a full body or upper lower full body split is worth considering. When you train four times per week as an intermediate trainee, doing something like an upper lower split twice is a good option. For training five times per week, using something like a push-pull legs upper lower split works well. So it's not just about how many days you train per week, but we also want to consider how you organize these training days to make sure you can train at a high intensity on all of your sets. Because doing a set at half effort will not do much for your muscle growth progress. We want to push on each set by training close to failure, leaving only about one to two repetitions in reserve as a max during each working set. We now have covered the basics about training frequency, but let's also look into some practical considerations by discussing workout duration. Because maybe you want to make more gains, but you only have 45 minutes to train each morning. In this case, you can decide to make each workout shorter, but then train more frequently in a week. So a beginner trainee would then perform four shorter workouts in a week, for instance, instead of three normal length workouts. For muscle growth, we simply need to make sure that we train each muscle group with enough volume and that each working set is intense. So depending on your availability, you can decide to have shorter and more frequent workouts if that suits you better. The opposite applies too, of course. Let's say you are an advanced trainee, but you only have three or four days per week to train. Well, you can decide to have somewhat longer training sessions and fit your weekly volume requirements into those three to four workouts. As a side note here, I just typically would advise against training much longer than 90 minutes for most people, since the quality of your workouts tend to drop off. And lastly, the fourth consideration we need to look into when determining your number of training days is of course your availability. We already touched on this a bit in the section about workout duration. The foundation of any training program is adherence. If we cannot commit to a program, then we will not get the benefits from it. It's important to always keep in mind what suits your schedule best and what a realistic number of training days is for your lifestyle. So to conclude, my general recommendation for most people is to train between 3 and 5 times per week depending on your volume needs and training experience. There will of course always be exceptions to this guideline. As long as you make sure that you train each muscle group with sufficient volume per week and you also have intense working sets, then you have flexibility in terms of how many days you should exactly be training per week. And that was all for today's video. I hope you now have a better understanding on how you can determine your number of training days. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Also, if you found this video helpful, then leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and I will see you in the next video.